We are delivering sausages, 21 ton. It's quite a bit. Hopefully the scanner will be powerful enough to handle it. I'm sure it will be. So this is what I mean though with the, dash, the display. Look at that. It says the view standard, then more view, then cruise control, temperature, and this is uh, air pressure uh, from the brake, brake air pressure. Anyway, let's go. 11 hours, that looks like a lot, but obviously we need to travel by boat too, so that takes away of the time a little bit. So there are quite a few ways to get into England. One of them is uh, take the boat, which we are going to do right now. Uh, one of them is to go to uh, to France and then go uh, with that tunnel, um, which is con which connects France and and uh, and the UK, Great Britain. Oh, father's bent ring. There we go. Let's see what this guy does. Okay. Seems like we're good to go. That's very kind of him. This board here means that we are good to go. Other people have to wait for us. Don't know if you have the same signs in in England though, so that's why I'm explaining it. Maybe you have the same signs. I'm not sure. This board means the opposite. This sign, so we're gonna have to let other guys through, and then we can join the traffic ourselves here. That over there, it said um, it said um, trajecte controller, uh, trajecte controller, uh, which is Dutch, <laughs> and uh, basically it means that. Uh, the cops are checking for your speed, so uh, you have to pay attention to that and stick with 50 kilometers an hour at the moment. And now we can go to 100. So it's a short uh, drive before we arrive to the boat. Doesn't take too long. And then we go to Cambridge in England. So it always confuses me though. When I arrive in, in England, I need to drive left. <laughs> and I, it always confuses me. So I'm going to have to remember that. Talking about the next subject though, and that is my pedals. Um, I'm having a G27 wheel. Um, the wheel is perfectly perfectly fine. I really like the wheel. It's getting a bit old now, you know, with the, uh, you have the uh, Trustmaster T500 RS and stuff like that, and Fanatec wheels. It's, get, it's getting a bit old now, but still, it does the job for me perfectly fine. But then the pedals though, I, I do not like the pedals. Um, well, I did like them before. But basically, they, they have potentiometers. Uh, potentiometer, uh, potentiometers, if you don't know it, uh, it's basically something in the pedal set which measures, uh, measures how much distance you travel. So, for example, when I press my brake, it measures how much... Um, uh, it measures the distance of the brake and basically what happens is these things get a little bit dirty and you have to, to clean them up. Now, when you do this first for the first time it's all good but then after four months you're gonna have to clean them and when you clean them then it gets three months you have to clean them then it gets two months you, you have to clean them and it gets one month you have to clean them and then you're pretty much done uh, i'm basically at that point at the moment i'm pretty much done with these pedals they are a bit old now and um, i have bought fanatec csr uh, elite pedals or allied however you pronounce that i think it's uh, elite and they have a load cell uh, brake which basically it's like a real car you know in a real car it measures um, power how much power you press on the brake how much force you press on the brake instead of the distance it measures with a potentiometer so people say it's a really good step forward so I hope it will be but to be honest I buy them because these uh, my current pedal uh, sets are getting annoying um, Basically, when I when I just do nothing, like now, I I'm not pressing the throttle right now. But usually, the throttle is activated for about six percent, even though I don't press it. Same for the brake. When I don't press the brake, the brake will sometimes be activated for about uh, maximum six percent. But it is obviously really annoying when this happens. Uh, excuse me. It really is annoying when this happens. Uh, we're gonna have to go to Felix Stowe. Felix Stowe. Uh, just drive in there. Uh, Harwich, yeah, Harwich, yep. 
So, we go now, travel time 8 hours, and you're gonna have to pay a thousand euros. So there we go, over the sea, and welcome to England. There we go, oh, it's, it's night too. Um, so, turn on the lights, so we can see something at least. And then go again, but um, coming back onto the pedals, um, I'm getting my new CSR Elite pedals um, in a couple of days actually, I think about six days time. Oh, I pressed the engine switch off. Oh, oh, see, <laughs> see, <laughs> I told you, <laughs> I always get confused. I was like, eh, why is this car driving my way? But I was obviously driving the, war the wrong way. But yeah, I should get my pedals in uh, in a couple of days' time, like six days or so. I pre-order them, save for the Oculus Rift. I pre-order that one too. So I'm looking really forward to that. I mean, these pedals are just getting old right now. I need to, I need new pedals. So I hope you guys are enjoying the let's play at the moment. Speed cameras. Gonna have to uh, drive 30. That is obviously 30 miles an hour, which is 50 kilometers an hour. Alright, so. I hope you guys are enjoying this. As I said, any feedback is much appreciated. Because I really need it. As I said, I just don't know if this is going to work as a let's play. I don't know if you guys will enjoy it. Stuff like that. But we'll see what happens, you know. Oh, careful. I thought he would go, uh, I thought he wouldn't continue driving on the roundabout, but he did. It's pretty, a uh, pretty long trailer. Yeah, it is. This is another modification though. I have so many modifications to the game, a lot of trailers. It makes the game a lot better in my opinion. Sixty miles an hour. All right, that's easy. One hundred kilometers an hour. Pretty dark though. You can also activate your headlights. There we go. You can see a lot more when you do that. But it's funny though because when you activate it and you have someone coming up, they will flash. Watch this. Watch the lights from him. His lights. See that? He like he gives a sign to me like uh, your headlights are on. Watch watch again. What's the light? Watch his lights. See? It like flashes. That's pretty good pretty cool feature I mean the developers of this game SCS are still developing the game they make uh, a lot of patches a lot of updates for the game uh, I know that um, they are going to include uh, a different system uh, for cruise control in the next update I mean when you press the cruise control button right now let me demonstrate it I'm driving 82 kilometers an hour pressing the cruise control button see that it sticks to 83 kilometers an hour uh, but I cannot change that it is like stuck and sometimes you want to uh, to increase your cruise control speed or decrease it and there's no button for that but um, in next update they will include a button so this game definitely gets a lot of updates the whole time and it makes the game really better it really does it's 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 really good it's good fun to play it but as i said i doubt it if it will be good to watch it too if you guys will enjoy it but i as i said i really hope so because i just don't have a main um, a main what's it called a main series on my channel and that is something I really really miss to be honest two hours to go and then we're in Cambridge and I'm going to finish this recording session speed cameras I think we are allowed to drive 100 kilometers an hour here so it's not a problem I really like it though uh, I, li I really like it though when a car what? I was driving 100 kilometers an hour. Do I have to drive even slower then when it says 60 miles an hour? Probably. Maybe slightly slower. That that fucks though. That sucks though. Sorry. <laughs> that sucks though. That's uh that's an offense. Unnecessary as well. well. That's the way it is. Well, uh, I was talking about uh, the sat nav. I, I really like to... Oh, there's a car, a car there. 
I really like to, to, to see trucks having a sat nav built in, uh, like on the dashboard or in the truck itself, because I'm right now driving the whole time with this screen on the bottom right, and I don't like that to be honest. I just like it much more to have it built in into the truck. But that costs, uh, that costs money, obviously. Cambridge. Gonna have to drive right. Yep. M25. Careful in these corners. It's so easy to uh, um, what's the, what's the right word here? For the truck to uh, like fall over in very sharp turns. When you go in there too quick, you will be like driving on uh, on two wheels, like on one side of the truck. I'm not kidding. It really works like that. I think we will see that in a later episode if I'm going to continue this series. We will definitely see that because it does sometimes happen to me. Like sometimes you just don't expect a, a corner to be that sharp and then you go in there with too much speed. <laughs> I think we're almost there, just now where to go now. See, I don't know, with an Oculus Rift, I, I would look right now there and then look a little bit um, down. I don't know, it would be so epic though. I really like the Oculus Rift. Just cannot wait until I get it. Let's give this guy some space. There we go. So fuel is currently not an issue for us. We are working for a company and they always provide you with enough fuel so you don't have to uh, fill up the tank of the truck. Although fuel is a worry once you get your own company running and you have your own truck obviously. Currently it's not an issue. I mean the game gets really fun when you have your own company. It's just this beginning phase of the game is, is a little bit boring maybe in some ways. I mean you're you're driving not really for your company right now, you're just driving for your own until you can buy a truck. Half an hour to go. I don't like driving in England though. I, I really hate it actually. Sorry to all the English viewers, but uh, now England is probably one of the countries I, I most hated to drive in. What the guy, what the hell is this guy doing? Slamming on the brakes suddenly. I really don't like driving in this country. It's probably as well because they just, they drive on the left hand side. But, I don't know, the, the, the landscape isn't fun, It's they have so many speed cameras as well. But it will be good fun though when we can uh, uh, do longer distances, longer distance jobs. But as I said, it will all take time.
Cambridge. We can see it right there up uh, front of us. And then we'll deliver this guy. Oh, speed cameras. 30, okay, that's 50 kilometers an hour. There's the camera. Break, 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 break. Uh, I thought I slowed down enough. <laughs> Shit, lost 1,000 euros then. Just on two unnecessary speed limits. That's really stupid. It's not my fault, obviously. I thought I slowed down enough, though. Usually you can get away with that. But not in England. Not in England. Hello, Scania. Go left here. Right, guys. So, if you have uh, like an interesting subject or topic to uh, for me to talk about in the next episode, do let me know. Uh, because as I said, commentary is really important in videos like these. And so, I really want to have something to talk about. So, just let me know if you guys want to hear me talk about something, and I'll do it. So, let's park this thing. And we should be good. Oh, this is a very long trailer. It really is. Okay, T. And that's the job done. Excellent. No damage to the trailer. So, maximum amount of money. Maximum amount of XP. Leveling up. Level 3 now. Still a newbie. Um, let's continue. And let's uh, invest in another HDR um, skill. Flammable or flammable liqu uh, liquids apply. Uh, we will save it here then. So, guys, if you have enjoyed this uh, episode, I would really appreciate a like. I hope you guys are enjoying this. I definitely am. But as I said, I just don't know if, you, if it's good to watch it. Do let me know. Do let me know if I should continue this. I'm really, really excited actually to do a let's play of this. But it just depends on you guys, really. Um, but anyway, that's it for me. And... Uh, I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.